Well, hello and welcome to Praying from Scripture, uh, where we do just that. I pray from Scripture. And the purpose of this is twofold. One is I hope that you will be encouraged and join with me as I pray and that you're blessed through these prayers. Um, but also it's to help uh, train us on how you can also enrich your prayer life by praying from Scripture. And so today I'm going to be praying uh, from Romans 6, 7 through 11. For one who has died has been set free from sin. Now, if we have died with Christ, we believe that we will also live with him. We know that Christ, being raised from the dead, will never die again. Death no longer has dominion over him. For the death he died, he died to sin once for all. But the life he lives, he lives to God. So you also must consider yourselves dead to sin and alive to God in Christ Jesus. Let's pray. Lord, I thank you for what Christ has accomplished through the gospel, through his death and resurrection. And Lord, I pray that you would help us today to live out of the resources of that accomplishment, that we would uh, consider ourselves dead to sin, that the uh, uh, we would put to death, that today we would actively put to death those things uh, that uh, are sinful, those, whether they're motivations, uh, whether they're attitudes, behaviors, or actions. Lord, may we uh, reckon ourselves dead to sin because Christ has died for our sin and he put those things to death. The old nature that we uh, uh, used to operate out of, Lord, you, that, that old man, has died. May we reckon that dead, and now may we live today in the new life that you've given us, the life, the new nature that you have birthed us into. We've been born again, and that doesn't just mean we've received a, a, a new slate and we've been forgiven, although we have, but you, we've been born again, and we have now, we can, as the scripture suggests, um, live for Christ because uh, we live in the power of his resurrection. So Lord, today, May we um, choose life instead of death. When people, as we interact with people, maybe someone says something that's offensive, maybe someone does something that would anger us or be frustrating, Lord, I pray that our reaction, uh, in, or our response to that rather, would be we choose life and not death. We choose words that bring life and not death. We'd, we'd operate out of the resources of what you have given us. Lord, may you do this in us today so that your name would be made holy, that all of our interactions would reflect you and praise you, please you, and uh, shine the light of who you are everywhere uh, we go. So Lord, help us, give us the grace to choose life and not death today. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Thank you for praying with me.